Hi everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's me Desiree here with Desiree Plans and in today's video we are going to be going over the new Erin Condren 2022-2023 Teacher Lesson Planner Collection. I received a few different planners to share with you today so I can't wait to get into it. So let's get started. Thank you, thank you again for joining me today. I appreciate your support in watching this video. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I've got a lot more fun things coming this month alone, so I can't wait to show them to you. Um, like this video, leave a comment too. Let me know they're here. And let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what you think about this new teacher lesson collection. So what I'm gonna start with are some of the new accessories that were sent to me. We will talk planners, of course, but let's go through the accessories. So the first thing I got here is this sticky note ball. So we received something like this with the Star Wars collection here. We've just got with the Harmony colorful, um, a whole bunch of different sticky notepads. Let me open this as best as I can. So it's meant to basically sit on your desk. And it has 300 sticky adhesives. These are all the different colors you would get. Um, each pad has 25 sheets and there's 12 of them. So again, sticky notepads in this shape to sit on your desk and whatnot. It's fun, it's cute. I didn't like it last time, <laughs> I'll be frank with you. They didn't stick on here very well, in my opinion. I don't know if this is any different. I don't see why it would be any different, but I basically took all of my sticky notes and I put them all together in a little holder. So here though, it's a nice little block though, but they have it available in the Harmony Colorful. And you can see the different colors, there's the lines. This has like a dot grid. This is just blank. So yeah, so it's cute all together though. Another thing that I was sent is this magnetic teacher dashboard. So obviously geared towards teachers, but in my opinion, anybody can still use this. Um, you can just change it up, but it says copies with a whole bunch of lines and circles for you to check off grade and then contact. So maybe not too many different people can use this, but geared to teachers. You have a to-do list right here and then looking ahead. And this is all in a gold foil and still the Harmony Colorful. And it's a magnet. So you just put it over the sheets that you want it to separate and whatnot. So that will be available for you to purchase as well. So the magnetic dashboard, although I have it here in a smaller size, it will be available in the Universal Snap-in um, dashboard as well to put whether in the teacher lesson planner, seven by nine, or even something smaller, who knows. So I also received this colorful weekly teacher notepad. It's a scheduled desk pad as they call it. It's really cute. I like how they call it colorful, but the colors are very muted. It's more of a pastel. It almost reminds me of a neutral, um, but it's like a pastel and it's just a notepad. There's nothing sticky here, but you've got the Monday blank space, today's prep, a whole bunch of checklists and so on. So only Monday through Friday, no Saturday. You do have this blank area on this side and this bottom area also. So really cute. Um, to give you a size comparison, I'm gonna put my keyboard up to it. Here is my keyboard. I've got the 10 key over here and it's as long as that keyboard. So for a size perspective, it goes all the way across. I was telling you about that magnetic dashboard and here it is. I didn't even realize I had it. So. We got a magnetic dashboard. It's the same version, only slightly bigger, obviously, meant for the coil planners here. So really nice. There is also a bigger Snap-in teacher dashboard. Um, let me show you this. It fits the seven by nine and the eight and a half by 11, of course. A very simple though, Snap-in. All you ever need is already within you. So really cute little quote, but you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You even have a small little Saturday and Sunday. You got a before school, after school checklist. And then on the back, you just have six boxes. So maybe you wanna have it for subject, reminders, a lot of different ways that you can use this. 
as always, you do need the Too Cool for School sticker notepad. Um, sticker book, excuse me. Um, it says it has over 600 colorful metallic stickers. So let's take a look. Every year, obviously, it's a bit different geared for those in the education industry. It says Classroom Collection Edition 6. So in the bag, it's going to show you all the different pages that it comes with. But when you open it up, let's just go through it. It's got a beautiful matte feel to this, which is nice. You have a whole bunch of birthday flags. And of course, these are for the teacher lesson planner, the actual subject header there. You have some little boxes where it says to-do list, which is nice. You got a little memo square, another to-do list, another memo. So darker and lighter colors. That's in a silver foil. Just like the other sticker books, they're mixing up the foil colors. This is a rose gold foil. And you got a bunch of different shapes there for you. Here is a whole bunch of letters. And let's see. These are clear, they're transparent. Here's another set of all gold letters. These are not transparent, but more of like the washi feel. You have days in the shape of like a marker, which is cute. So Monday all the way through, Monday through Sundays, different color schemes. You got some today and then some more date there. So that's cute. A whole bunch of washi strips with different quotes, which are really adorable. Teachers create tomorrow in the minds of today. Really cute. A bunch of circles to do memo. Don't forget urgent different colors. Some more subject stickers here with some circles. Some stars, coffee, checks, stars, paper clips, a bunch of more of deco icons. You got a to-do like for meetings and whatnot, or it's blank. Some more page flags, some squares. You got some staff meeting stickers, testing. And that is it for the Cool for School sticker book. I was very pleased to get this collab. You know, it's something that I always use with my kids often when they were going virtual. They are no longer virtual, they are in school. A lot of this stuff I will be gifting to their teachers, so I'm very appreciative of it. Um, but it definitely helped me when I was home with the kids, trying to do my best to even teach them. <laughs> so I appreciate all of you teachers out there because you all are amazing. And I am so grateful to you all because you've helped my children tremendously. I also have here the teacher productivity notebook. Uh, basically, it's a blank slate. You got a blank date there. Contact, prep a big blank box, and then in my classroom checklist. It's the same throughout. It is simply that, a notepad, not sticky by any means. And in the little printout that we have here though, you know, it shows that this is the only color, which is kind of a bummer. I would have hoped that it would have been more colorful. Um, I don't know if they will offer different colors or if you get to customize and whatnot, but it doesn't say anything about customization. Now moving along to some of the bigger items, for instance, the teacher checklist notebook, which has been a hit since it came. It's actually the teacher record book. Here we have it. Influence, learn, encourage, inspire, do your best, teach. Really cute. It's on a platinum coil, a much smaller, you know, notebook coil. And looking at the outside, you have three tabs. You have graph, checklist, and notes. So as soon as you open it, teacher record book belongs to you have your all about me area let's see there we go so all about me classroom information and resources name school room grade contact classroom resources websites and passwords events volunteers for the classroom and then the information itself you have a communication log on both sides so if you need to call out, maybe you need to call a parent, the date, the name, reason why, resolved, and whatnot. So keeping tabs, things like that. Well, as soon as you go to graph, you have a whole bunch of graph areas. So I've seen people use this for different things. You know, log it, graph it, map it, group it, track it. However you're going to use it, create seating charts, organize groups, track learning assessments, and log other important information. So a number of ways that you can use that. And you have a few sheets of that graph paper in there for you. So 
skipping ahead to the checklist, here is your student checklist. So you can use this to track, you know, permission slips, turned in, assignments, you know, snap words. That's what I had used it for when I was helping them um, at home. But a lot of different things, whether you put your the name of the student here, you can track all of those different areas in which they are. And it's very nice. It's the same as last year um, as far as the boldness. And I'll link my old video um, at the end so that you can take a look at last year. You just got a different design here, but it, for the most part, it is just the same. Let's see. Then you have the notes area where you have quite a few different notes pages, which is nice for you to leave those extra notes. And then you have the back and that's it. So no stickers, no anything there. As far as the names going down, you have 36 rows here for the names on this one page. So it's gonna be the same across, of course, 36 going down. Across you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 on this page. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 15 on this left page going across and then 20 on this end here. And so it would be the same throughout. What do you know about that student checklist? What do you think about it? Is this gonna be useful to you? Okay. So let's get into the big planner here. So I was sent the Harmony Colorful 8.5 by 11 teacher lesson planner. I have the gold coil here. You are able to customize it to your liking if you'd like. But as soon as you open it, you've got your dashboard, of course, teacher lesson planner. Pretty much very similar to that record book, but with that Harmony Colorful design. So all about me, classroom information, resources, name, school, and year, email, phone, address, still your classroom resources box, websites and passwords, you know, the events and volunteers, contact information. Then you have your contact tab here. And it's that same communication log in a bigger format, of course. Then you've got the 2022-2023 tab where you have your months at a glance here all the way up until 2023. Then you have a year plan tab. So now you have your 12 month boxes at a glance for you. After that, you have your graph tab where you're gonna have a few sheets of graph paper there for you. Then you have two sheets of lined paper. Well, three, you're gonna count that one four and then dates to remember in July. So every month you're gonna have this blank page in front, these two here to match and coordinate with the color with the dates to remember for July with a bunch of checklists there. Then you have your monthly spread. As you can see, the Harmony design goes all the way across, even into that notes area <laughs> like that. So you've got that here, July, 2022. No holidays are in here. Unlike the life planner where you have like 4th of July in there and whatnot, there is nothing in here. It's a blank slate. You have the month ahead, of course, at the bottom corner, and then you jump into the weekly planning. So here it's starting in June, but then it starts July 1st with a different color scheme here. So this is what June would be, but you have your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay. So weekly, right? And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, six subject boxes. I personally, if you needed more, you can add this one as a seventh and then just make your own line there. Now, others have used this type of planner for different things. I personally use it for content planning also. So what I do is change my days up here, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then I divide this into my different categories, whether it's an Erin Condren planner, a different planner, or a sticker shop, things like that. So you can have it different ways or format it to your liking. Now, moving into July, you got that dark blue color scheme as expected. And it almost feels like that color blends feel because it kind of fades. It fades as you get to the bottom, but it's a nice setup here. I love the colors. After you finish that week, 
you're going to have two blank note pages for the end of the month. And then moving into August, again, following that August tab color and the whole new color scheme for August. And then here is your August monthly there. And again, no actual holidays, which is nice. A blank slate. And here is your August spread. So again, very colorful in that sense. After the last week in August, here is your two blank pages for the end of the month. And then you're going into September. And you can tell it's for August simply because it has that yellow asterisk here to match the August month. Here is September, going into September, and so on. So again, no holidays or anything. Finishing up the last week in August. Obviously, September 1st starts on the 1st, Thursday. So going on, I will continue to skip through these months. Here is October in that orange theme. And we've got November in that blue. And December in the green. These colors are matching the monthly sticker book theme, how it's always been. Unlike a lot of these new planners where the color tab has changed significantly. So January, here is February, 2023, March, 2023, April, May, June. And that is it for it ends at June here. So at the very end, You'll still get your same two note pages, but then you have some more checklists back here. Um, here, I love this checklist a lot better and that it has that rainbow theme to it, unlike the just actual record book itself. But it's pretty much the same setup here in that bigger format. You've got a few sheets of the record list there for you at the end, which is nice. Then you have the stickers that it comes with. So these are all gold stickers. Yeah, all gold stickers with the gold foil. Staff meeting, to do, no school, after school, PTC, IEP, things like that. You've got some little boxes, some flags, assembly, field trip, important, take note, report due. Great job, big day type stickers. 100th day of school, 50th day of school, first day of school, last day of school. Really cute. Some more subject line tabs there. Some washi strips, and then a whole bunch of quarter boxes there for you. It does come with a folder, double sided folder there, and it even comes with two actually, I'm sorry, three, three actual sheet protectors. So you can slide any important documents that you need in there. Now, as you notice, nothing was marked off as far as holidays and whatnot. So if you did want them, they're automatically gonna be included in the back of your planner. So you got July, Independence Day, National Moon Day. I mean, it's gonna have a lot of different things. It even has blank ones here for you too, to keep everything aligned. So that's kind of nice. I like that it comes with those separately already if you needed to include those to help you plan. So this is the Harmony Colorful Teacher Lesson Planner know it's going to come in other designs as well you've got the in bloom design and then even the focus collection so available in so many different covers layouts formats it'll be there for, you got a big selection there now i was sent some additional covers to go along we've got this new at a v cover which is just stunning 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 the flowers almost look 3D, like they pop out to you. Um, create, Motivate, Inspire. This is by Etta V, of course, but you have these covers and a few others that are going to be coming to the shop. You have this apples one, really cute. Again, a few others that you'll be able to select from. Here is the Teacher Lesson Planner Lay Flat 12-Month Planner. This is an 8 by 10, guys. So... The other one, the coiled, is eight and a half by 11. This one is slightly smaller, but still bigger than the normal seven by nine planner, okay? So there will be a seven by nine focus version, FYI, in the coiled option. So I've got the in bloom, soft bound, and it's got this beautiful rose gold 
color on the outside and it does come it does come with the ribbon to mark your place as well and this is going to be very similar to the one i just showed you condensed smaller at this point and in the in bloom so teacher lesson planner you still have the about me classroom websites passwords events and volunteers page but with the flora on it i'm sorry in bloom i was still getting used to that you have your communication log here your 12 months at a glance 12 boxes for each month then you have your graph pages here so you've got a few of those then you're starting in july so dates to remember in july same setup obviously no tabs for you so that's something to consider you have july 2022 with that in bloom design still no dates or anything like that no holidays listed here is the first week june and then you see friday july 1st is already a different color scheme there so it's still separated by color scheme which is nice you still got the same setup just on a condensed area here so that's very nice i'm loving this softbound i didn't I purposely didn't choose the in bloom coil because I'm not a fan of in bloom too much, but I really like this planner. Like I think if anything, I'd move into this one. The, the aesthetic of it is very nice. So there's August. Here is September. Oh, here we go. Here is October in that blue. November with that green color. Here is December 2022. And then we're going to get into January. And it's going to take you all the way. And let me actually show you just because these colors are different. Here is the February, March, April. may and the last month being june so starting all over with the color scheme you still have quite a few blank note pages in the back um which is nice and i say quite a few because it is quite a few um blank lined pages here then you have your student checklist it's just that same kind of rainbow but more of that pastel neutral color effect you have all of those checklists there for you and that is it so no folder no stickers no sheet protectors no dates that come with it to adjust it is very plain very simple soft bound no extra anything so if you really wanted those other items the other ones can the coil is going to be the better option for you all right, guys, so let's take a look at these checklist dual tip list markers. I shouldn't even say checklist, but dual tip list markers. These are different than what's already in the shop now in that they're more geared towards teachers. And I shouldn't even say geared. Anybody can use it, but one has a check mark, an X, a slash, a circle, an asterisk, and then an open circle. So, so let's test these out and see what they look like in this planner. I'm going to use the softbound. Um, let me, oh my God, if I can open it, forget it. <laughs> my hands are not very strong because of my PSA. Oh, the struggle is real, y'all. The struggle is real. Okay, so there are my dual list markers here. These actually fit nicely in here, which I love. So let's start with the black one. Erin Condren designed, of course. On one end, you have the fine tip. As it says fine tip there. On the other, it shows you that it's a check, a check there. But it's in black. So you can't really tell in the black part of it, but you would just angle it so that it makes a check. So let me see here. And guys, this is a first look with me, so it may not be perfect on how you do it. Just make sure you angle it right. 
So there's your check. Okay, so I could have angled it a little bit better. There's your check mark. Okay. Um, let me actually zoom in for y'all because I didn't realize it was so far. Okay. So there's your check mark. And then, of course, the black dual ink pin. So check mark. Right? We're good. Black. The next one is this purple. And did they call it purple? Orchid. I'm sorry. So it's going to be an orchid pin on one end. And then on the other, you're going to have a cross. So they say cross. I mean, I call it an X. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. An X. There's your X. So you can use it different ways. You know, obviously, if somebody doesn't turn something in, you can put an X, missed, you know, um, as they're calling it, cross. Now, this looks black. Is that black? That is black. Hold on. Let's see what this says. Oh, you're correct. Okay, so all the fine tips are all black ink. There we go. Good to know. Didn't read that right. Here is the navy, and they're calling this one a slash. So it's just the line. And with the slash, it's just as that, you know, the way they were talking about this. So, you know, thinking about even my daughter, sight words or whatnot, or whatever you were, you know, going over, maybe they got, you know, two out of six or, you know, things like that. So you can use that slash there for, for that type of scenario, or just maybe they were out, maybe they were absent. Who knows? Who knows? Here is the Robin one. And the Robin is the, what is it? The dot. So a simple circle reminds me of those dot pins. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so very inky. You really have to press down hard for it to all come out. And even at that, it's pretty inky. Let me see. Definitely a lot inkier than the rest. And it can kind of ghost it, guys. It ghosts it a little bit. So then we have the red open circle. I'm just going to put it over here. So there is a red circle. It's hard to do these without really messing it up. So what I recommend is that kind of like when you're walking heel toe, right? Heel toe that you do the same from one end to the other and then up. So don't try and go straight because when you try to just go straight down, it doesn't always work. So from one end all the way to the other. And even that one messed up. <laughs> even that one messed up. All right. And then we have this tangerine and this is the asterisk. 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 Oh my gosh. Can't even say the word. And you're probably already familiar with it, but they fit in here perfectly, which I love. So these, I like them. I wouldn't mind picking them up, especially if it was new, you know. Um, I will say this though, there is a free gift with purchase for the teacher lesson planner launch. There's another one that we are unaware of yet. They were still waiting for it to be in hand before they listed, but it's the free teacher gift and it's a dual heart list marker. So basically same scenario, black ink on one side, but then it's going to be a heart on the other. So, you know, good job guys. <laughs> or you just check it in, turn in the assignment, you know, who knows, however you're going to use it. I love it. It's the heart. So these are going to be the, this is a freebie with your teacher lesson planner purchase. So it has to be the TLP, not a regular life planner. It has to be a TLP for you to get this dual um, list heart marker. And then, of course, you'll be able to purchase these separately. So let me show you some of the stuff that's coming as well so you have an idea and start making your checklist on what you think you're going to get. Okay, guys. So here is this. Um, normally, we get it in a printout. We got it in a PDF form this time. But it over, basically overviews everything that we're going to receive, um, or that's going to be available, I should say. You have the In Harmony Colorful, you have the In Bloom, and then, of course, the new Etta V collection, which is really cute. Um, these are some of the new cover designs that are available there. And as you can see, basically, you got covers on all the sizes. You got a sticker sheets, the notepads, cards, all that kind of stuff, as expected. 
as expected, none of that's changed. Um, that's always going to come with those matching items, which is nice. You know, there is those note cards. You got some A5 folios, the planner folios, of course, the teacher folios. You don't have the design, though, in the pin folio, the ultimate pin organizer, whatever it's called. I hear it's humongous, but <laughs> it's each their own. Here is the Harmony Colorful, as expected. You have the normal, normal planner. Then you have the metallic one with the metallic gold strips there. And then right here. And then right here you have the binder option. And then, of course, the vegan leather cover. So you got quite a bit of options when it comes to the teacher lesson planner as far as just the one design itself. You've already seen a lot of these accessories. These have already been on sale. Nothing new to the shop. Um, all came with the Life Planner launch with the In Harmony theme um, as far as these items. So all the same as to what you've already seen. So nothing to worry here. There's, in my opinion, only a few new items. Um, here are those magnetic colorful um, bookmarks, dashboards. You have the magnetic, you have the coiled snap-in. You have a Harmony Colorful Teacher Dashboard, the one I already showed you, the Productivity. This is a new one, the note from the teacher, which is different. I like that color theme. You even have this desk pad. So, you know, you're going to have a few options. Um, let me keep going here. Now we're going to get into the In Bloom type items. Um, same covers you've already seen. There's only two new ones with the teacher quote on it. Still the in bloom, but a teacher quote. Um, everything else, the same. Same accessories um, in this sense, except the new backpack, guys. The in bloom backpack, as you can see there, which is gorgeous. And keep watching till the end. I'm going to show you some close-up pictures of the backpack. Um, I'm definitely going to be picking up both backpacks. Then we got the soft bound planners, as I already showed you the in bloom. Um, there is also a blush. Um, check out Chloe Tree Plans. She has the blush planner with her. And here is the focus collection here. Now, these soft bound do say 7x9, but they're actually 8x10 in size, just like the one I showed you. Um, the coiled, though, are 7x9. So if you have that focus, want that plain look, the focus is the way to go. These are some new, new focus accessories, you know, the whole eco-friendly paper clips, whatever. Don't, that, that's just too much. <laughs> They're cheaper at the Dollar Tree. They might not be eco-friendly though, but you got a new pencil case, some focus notepads. The, of course, this teach the Spanish teacher lesson planner, which I'm kind of upset about in this sense because they're still using the MCC design. I don't know why they're not using the new design the, in the Harmony or the In Bloom or whatnot. The covers are fine, but the int guts are not. Here is the overall Teacher Lesson Planner collection. Let me try and make my face smaller if I can. Oh, I don't think I can. Too late, but this was given to us months ago, so a lot may have changed, so don't use that as a general. I know there were some corrections on there, um, so be mindful of that. Um, the softbound, of course, it says 8x10 here. Color blends. The only new item for color blends is at the very bottom, that large three-pocket zip accordion pouch um, in the color blend theme, which is beautiful. I'm definitely picking that one up as well. And then the other designs you're already familiar with, the watercolor leopard, the banana leaves, of course, the stripes. Um, these are some of the new ones down here, though, the Learn, Inspire, Teach. Again, notebooks, coils, whatnot. And then you have the Rainbow Apples, which is really adorable. I love it. It's really cute. But that is what you have there. These are the newer items. So you got the record book. Got to have the record book. You have the dual tip markers, which I showed you, the sticker book, a large teacher folio, which is nice. Then there are mid-century circles, guys, that backpack. So... This olive canvas and the tote, um, the strap, it is beautiful in person. FYI, that is that picture does not do it justice. There's so. so many cute items coming for the teacher lesson planner launch, and I still can't believe it's still a week away. That's driving me nuts <laughs> because I want to pick up a lot of these items. You know, I was sent a box, but I didn't get to choose anything. So a lot of items I'm going to be picking up um, on launch day, just like everyone else too. But guys, 
all of these accessories are adorable. Definitely must haves, you know, the sticker book, that accordion zip pouch, you know, definitely stuff that I'm gonna pick up. And even the focused, I'm gonna get a seven by nine coiled focus. I don't need it, I want it. It looks cute. I can use it for so many other things as well. But the backpack, y'all, the backpack, stunning, 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 stunning. Lots of cute items there that you're going to be able to purchase. So I'm really excited about it. That backpack is just stunning. You can see already in person that, just in person, but like with a picture that it's big and it's de decent size. Um, that folio too for the teacher lesson planner, that's nice. I did not expect it. Um, it looks rather big. So I'm curious about that if I need to purchase one too <laughs> and see how that works out. Um, again, here is the mid-century circle. I mean, the Navy mid-century circles one. And you can see you can fit your planner in there. You got pockets for cards, a phone pocket in there. So it looks rather large um, in size, which is exactly what I need. Exactly what I need. Um, that in harmony is kind of growing on me too. But the sticker book, pick it all up. Pick it all up. You need it. There are those list markers there. Um, a much better description than what I gave. <laughs> but there are those stamp markers. What are, I call them stamp markers because that's what it is. The in bloom design is gorgeous as well. And then you get the harmony. So options, guys. What are you going to get? Are you going to get harmony? in bloom, focus, let me know. So be ready, May 16th, EC Insiders, you'll have a day early access. Um, if you're not already signed up, you can click the link down below to sign up, it's free. And if you're not, if you have not purchased anything from Erin Condren, it'll even give you a $10 discount um, for you to use as well. May 17th is the general launch where it's on sale to everybody. So I doubt nothing's gonna sell out, I mean, not like life planner launch, in my opinion. Um, but you'll want to make sure if you want that freebie that you purchase, sign in. I'll have everything available. If you want to see more of the previews, you can click the link down below that says sneak peeks that will show you um, a closer look at all of these items. But guys, these items are gorgeous, gorgeous. This backpack, everything is amazing, like amazing, amazing, amazing. If you do decide to purchase, I would appreciate your support by clicking that link down below. Um, even to window shop, it goes a long way. I thank you, thank you. Um, it does allow me to receive a small commission at no cost to you. It does not hurt your shopping experience by any means at all. So thank you for your support and let me know what you think about everything. Are you gonna be picking up anything from this launch? Leave a comment down below what your favorite item from my video was today. And thanks for watching, bye y'all. Thank you.